I love wellness. I write about wellness. Yeah. You know, I'll even pick up like you know, Ashtanga, Ridham, and like really textbook Ayurvedic books, and you know, decipher those. So I wanted my second book to be less test textbook, and I wanted it to be more magical. And this it was is the moon side, be, yeah. guys. And you know, if you flip it, yeah, magic. It's right here. Because ultimately, I'm a writer. I'm an author. I'm a journalist. I'm a researcher. Yeah. But I'm not a doctor, right? Yes. You look at a dog. You look at a cat. If yes. you want to sleep, they will sleep. Yeah. But we are the only species that we delay our sleep time. Yeah. You know, personally, I I like to wake up in the morning, yeah. and you know, my health has drastically improved since you know I've yeah, mentioned it. You know, our bodies they love habits. Okay. They love rhythms. They love routines. Welcome to the Book Nerds podcast. Uh, it's amazing to have Vasudha Rai with us uh, today, and uh, you know, Vasudha, I read the book Ritual. and you know it is amazing also it's kind of you know uh, i was confused in the beginning you know because i read i thought that okay have i got a pirated copy or something maybe you know somebody bought it off isbt or something and you know send it to <laughs> over to me i wish that happens that's But, a sign of a book yeah, being successful yes yes totally <laughs> um amazing experience reading it in fact it's not only a reading experience it's an immersive experience you have to put it in practice and thank you so much for being on the book nerds podcast first of all uh, i know you have been doing this for a while but books have come in later uh, but uh, yeah thank you for writing these books because people like us who are book nerds uh, we found your content the podcast and everything your universe through this and then i went on to the instagram account and you know all those things that you're doing wonderful things thank you so much for being here thank you for and having me this is thank you this is this is such a pleasure the atmosphere and your team and you love your t-shirt by the way thank you thank you somebody <laughs> said it somebody said it i have put a lot of effort okay let's uh, dive straight into rituals uh, mm. and you know you have divided the book in two parts uh, so as to say we would love to know this process because this must have been a discussion uh, where did the inception come from and then uh, how does uh, the team the editor and you know this whole camaraderie work uh, tell us a bit about that so actually uh, the book that i was supposed to write wasn't ritual okay. it was another book uh, but that book will take years of research years of research yeah. and i i just like i really enjoyed writing glow in fact for the record i wrote glow in like literally 3 months Wow. uh yeah wow. and uh, you know so I, i definitely wanted to write a book and i mean the first idea i tabled it with my editor my editor is wonderful gurveen chadda at, at penguin and you know she really stands behind me for all my ideas mm -hmm. so it's first of all it's good to have an editor who supports yeah. your ideas yeah. and she supported it all the way for instance um in glow <laughs> that was the first time they were like you know we've never actually come up with a cover for a beauty book which is black a black beauty yes. book yes. with a uh, with a you know with a with a white circle in between so they were The general bit, perception is it has to it be has to be colorful there has to be you know whatever yeah. and especially because it was herb there has to be phool patti ped paudhe yes. you know yes. so <laughs> yes. so she she really stood behind me she like no 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 absolutely let's just go ahead with it and like you know glow just the, the trajectory for glow was like this yeah. and um you know so so she they, then they sort of started trusting me that okay yeah. you know she has an idea about design and mm. all of that because i did go to art school actually yeah. i wanted to be an artist when i was a child okay. i really don't know what i'm doing so as well you have that sense of aesthetics i suppose yes. yeah. uh, i suppose so they really the, the thing is that they really trust my aesthetic okay. sense so but oh, coming back to uh, you know the whole journey of ritual i was supposed to write another book okay and i just like wore myself out trying to research that book okay. um and then i was like okay let me just like think about this all over again let me think about what in wellness actually gives me joy okay and i realized that more than like okay in in glow i wrote about the food that we eat mm -hmm. and this and that but yeah. more than the food that we eat it was the rituals that brought mm -hmm. magic into yes. my life yes. so i wanted my second book to be less test textbook mm -hmm. and i wanted it to be more magical okay. and you know which is why i divided it into sun and moon because that's literally how we divide mm -hmm. rituals right mm -hmm. morning subah ka kya karenge sham ko kya karenge right. and uh, with the covers i just wanted to uh, do something which uh, shows the cyclical nature of yeah. our lives there's no there's no beginning there's no end um so yeah i came up with this whole idea of sun and moon and then i was talking to gurveen i said do you think we can have two covers she's like was that 
we'll do whatever yes. and uh, you just tell me exactly she said just send me an exact brief okay. and then we had the most brilliant designer called akanksha mm-hmm. sharma who unfortunately has left penguin now okay. um but that girl so i gave her a brief okay. that i want sun on one side okay. and moon on one side sent her references i made a full powerpoint presentation um mm-hmm. but she just elevated that idea to okay. another level yeah. uh she sent me like lots of designs uh I, you know first i mean it's never really happened with me that i like designs in one go yeah. but i liked all the designs in one go but you know something wasn't working okay. then there was one particular design in which i liked the graphics and i yeah. said why don't we do one thing why don't we just reverse this design you know because okay. it was against a black background yeah. Yeah. you know she reversed it into cream and she did all this like little brown ah. thing here whatever and then as soon as i saw it I was like, we are just going with this. Okay, let's like, have a look at it. I have, I, I really want to kind of re really look at it because you know it has got two sides and it's yeah. not possible. So this was supposed to be black, yeah. and this it was is the moon side, be, yeah. guys. And you know, if you flip it, <coughs> yeah, magic. It's right here. So you know, this is this is very new to me. And may I also, yeah, if you yeah. don't mind, yeah. uh, uh, there are also other nuances which you probably didn't yeah. notice in okay. it. that uh, the sun side you know with the with the numbering is we have these little yes, uh, sparkles yes, yes. Yep. and in the moon side we have the the moon it's a lot of detail a yeah. lot of detail and i that's why i kind of you know uh, loved the entire experience I, and I, and i mentioned it it's an experience right is that the right side up is that the right side up i think okay. so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so is there a right side Okay. <laughs> no, but sometimes yeah, I mean. Yeah, yes. Like we were just chatting. I Authors know. are like mothers. You yes. know, books are our children. I know. We absolutely. are like borderline obsessive about achhi lag rahi hai, theek lag rahi hai, ye hai, wo hai, you know. Yes. And even in the placement in the bookstore matters a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So let's talk about rituals and uh, uh, a lot of hoopla is going around habits. Yeah. And uh, rituals versus habits is kind of a Uh, should i say a debate no but uh, is it it does it go hand in hand uh, can you break it down for us a little bit i mean it's the same thing pretty okay. much isn't okay. it i mean habits is a very you know i mean it's a very no nonsense <coughs> approach yeah and ritual is a more magical approach let's okay. just see it it's it's yeah. pretty much the same thing right uh, now you could say that reading the morning paper is mm. my daily habit yeah and when i say that you know reading my morning paper with my cup of coffee when it takes yes. me out from like yes. the realities and the mundane the mundane yes. reality of life yes. that is my ritual so i feel yeah. like just like a little play of words mm. um you know it just makes that subtle difference yeah. and you know you you view that entire thing like drinking tea or your yeah. coffee or your morning run or whatever yeah. anything can be ritualized and made more magical yeah. you know it's pretty much the same thing there's no yeah. debate there it's it's the same thing okay but there there seems more emotion in it you know when you put it that way that, yeah. you know there is more emotion to it yeah. i suppose yeah. yeah yeah emotion and also <coughs> more like uh, i mean becomes a little bit more esoteric okay. than hardcore scientific yes. Yes. and uh, i i do i do come from that sort of school of uh, you know i mean i i do like the woo woo wellness got it, got it. i like the whole magical aspect of yeah. it yeah. i like the whole mantra of yeah. it, mantra of in wellness i like crystals yeah. i like you know circadian cycles yes. i like full moons and new moons yeah. and half moons and yes. sunrise and yeah. sunsets so i like i like my li- my life so to have well. magic in it yeah. and it comes through in the writing you know it is very evident thank you uh, thank so, you so much so you uh, mentioned circadian you know cycles and you know it's uh, quite a part of the book and it was very important for me to kind of understand because there are loads of people who kind of run away from habits or rituals yeah whatever you call it um because of these cycles they are in yeah you know they are like a very common lingo is like i am a night person or i am a morning person so what how do you kind of account for that in terms of you know uh, you coach people as well uh, no no okay, no i'm just an author okay, okay. yeah but indirectly you are doing it uh, i suppose yeah. Yes, yes but i have a, i have a panel of experts for every book i have a panel okay. of experts because ultimately i'm a writer i'm an author i'm a journalist i'm a researcher yeah. but I'm not a doctor, right? Yes. So I get whatever, whether it's ritual or whether it was glow. I've yeah. got all the information vetted in these books okay. by a panel of experts. Okay. For instance, in ritual, the whole chapter of journalism, mm. um, sorry, journaling was mm. uh, you know I consulted my therapist. 
Yeah. Uh, and she advised me, no, Vasudha, write like this, add this, whatever, Ayurvedic yeah. doctor. So everything is vetted yeah. by experts. Okay. Sorry, what was your question? Um, I was asking about, you know, kind of, uh, you know, the sun and the moon. Ah, uh, yes, the, the cycles. Rituals. Yeah, the cycles, yeah. 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 So, um, <coughs> yes, living according to the cycles is very important. Our dads have been telling us about that. But, yeah. you know, when, our, when our dad would be a subi, karke, pani ye kiya karo, well, dad chill, relax. Yes. But now that we've grown up, it's become yes. such a big thing. In fact, like, you know, people really started talking about circadian cycles. What was it, 2016 or 2016? 17 where the mm. Nobel Prize for medicine was given yeah. to three scientists who discovered the gene yes, responsible yes, for the circadian yeah, cycle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. since then it's become like really huge. Mm. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you a little incident about mm. like, you know, this Ayurvedic doctor. Um, he's actually the Ayurvedic physician, if I'm not wrong, at Ananda. And he was telling me about okay. his father. He's like fourth yeah. generation or yeah. fifth generation. Ayurvedic Ayurvedic Rishikesh, doctor, you mean? In Rishikesh. Yeah. So his great grandfather, uh, who's also an Ayurvedic yeah. physician. So he was treating this gentleman who had uh, a lot of chronic disease okay. and he said listen you have to come every morning and at so and so time mm. and um, I think it was 5 30 or 4 30 okay. in the morning or 6 30 yeah. and you have to take your medicine I'll prepare okay. it fresh in the morning you have to eat this medicine okay. he would come from his village to this village he would take the medicine and within a few months his symptoms started improving yeah. do you know what that medicine was it was placebo oh, there was wow. no medicine <laughs> it was just him waking up in the morning oh and you know coming um, uh, you know, doing it's that amazing. walk in the morning and having that medicine. I think that's the best example of placebo yeah. I have ever come across. <laughs> because, you know, usually it is, you know, kind of, yeah, it worked. Yeah, it wow. worked. However, I will also say this, that about 70% of us are, you know, morning birds. And, uh, you know, we've, we've like, uh, I was reading this book by uh, Matt Walker called... Yeah. Uh, why we sleep it's one okay. of the best books written okay. about sleep okay. and in that he says that human beings are, is the only animal who uh, delays his uh, sleeping sleep time so when okay. we sleep feel sleepy we always delay it we always push away you look at a dog you look at a cat if yes. you want to sleep they will sleep yeah. but we are the only species that we delay our sleep time yeah. you know so a lot of the morning birds have turned into night owls because uh, of this habit yes. but then there are 30 percent hmm. of us who are more productive at night. Mm. So for them, to, for us to expect them to wake up in the morning yeah. and being all fresh and whatever, yeah. it's just, you know, it's wrong of us to even, you know, expect that. True. You know, I mean, um, though I, I do, personally, I, I like to wake up in the morning yeah. and, you know, my health has drastically improved since, you know, I've mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, since uh, I've, I've changed my cycles. But this we have when, to... Which year? This was just before the pandemic. Okay. Yeah. It's quite recent. Uh, it's quite recent. So earlier I used to be like that and then, you know, work. I was working in a fashion magazine. Okay. And literally, and I, I was beauty director for three magazines. Mm -hmm. The Cosmopolitan, Harper's Bazaar and Women's Health. Yes. And it was like late night party for Harper's Bazaar. And uh, then early morning, uh, women, women's health uh, running challenge. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I will take care of the bags. <laughs> you go run, leave all your bags with me. Oh my God. So, you know, life was really hectic. Yeah. And then 2016, I quit my job. I felt very, very, you know, I mean, I went through a phase till 2018 when I wasn't well. Yeah. Through that phase, I also wrote mm -hmm. Glow. Okay. Um, so, you know, I mean, during that time is when I really fixed my circadian okay. cycles. Okay. So it worked for me, but to ignore this entire, this small, group of people who are actually night mm. owls mm. would be unfair okay. so um, I feel like um, whatever your cycle is mm. first of all if you can wake up in the morning you can do all of that that's mm. great uh, but whatever your cycle is just be regular with it don't okay. be like one one day I'm sleeping at 11 the next day I'm sleeping at 1 then I'm sleeping at 3 then I'm sleeping at 4 then I'm again sleeping at 12 yeah. you know because then your body you know our bodies they love habits, okay. they love rhythms, they love routines. Mm. So that whole like, you know, okay, you, you need to be asleep for this much time, you need this much time to digest mm -hmm. your food. You know, that your body body needs that rhythm. It needs okay. to get into the habit of, okay, this right. is, this is you know, that stability of yes. a routine the body requires, wow. is what I feel. You know, because, you know, a lot of people, I, yeah, I, I, I was talking to someone and they were saying like, I work out at night. I mean, around 11 p.m. ish. So I was like, okay, I'm a morning person. Yeah. So I was like, okay, is it fine or not? And because when I read your book, you were like, okay, uh, if you're doing something late at night, but does it make any sense uh, um, medically? I, I don't know. I, yeah. See, I'm not a medical doctor, so yeah. I don't really know. But okay. I would say uh, better to have some workout than no workout. 
like at least work out yeah. yeah yeah and also like you know if you're going to work out at night then maybe do a shavasana after that you know okay. to kind of calm your body yeah. down and yeah. like do some some meditative mm-hmm. activity because you get so pumped after a workout yeah. right yeah. like do some mindful activity to calm yourself down okay. you know i would say definitely exercise is very important yeah. um a lot of our traditional rituals were written at a time when we did not have electricity we yeah. did not have you know that this extended light yes. so we also have to account for our uh, lifestyles a lot of us can't like quit our jobs and yeah. say nahi bhai mere ko to ritual follow karna hai main you know whatever it, yeah. we can't do that yes, so better to you know pull out that time better to exercise yeah. even if you're doing it late rather yeah. than not at all whatever works for you i mean whatever works yeah. for you that's why i've <laughs> left a lot of flexibility in this book um for instance we were told that between 4 to 6 is the hours of vat right yes. uh, air and space the qualities yeah. of the air are very light and it's yeah. perfect time for spiritual activity mm-hmm. which i agree but subah 4 baje uthne ke liye mujhe dopahar ko se 4 baje uthna sona padega yes you know totally totally you have to <laughs> yeah and yeah. then that's those same qualities of like air and space are mirrored at between 4 and 6 in the evening so you can even Achha. do your meditation okay. yep. in the evening okay so i feel like but not a lot of people uh, know about this they are like okay Yeah. I mean bas wohi bas 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 wohi yeah. time hai and yeah. uh, the other thing is that you know I mean uh, we follow our yoga things so regularly we fo- follow our meditation things uh, mm-hmm. so regularly and I always say that you know there's always there's also something which is like an addiction to sattva right okay. like we become like oh you know i haven't uh, done my meditation today ah. i'm so irritated or like you know we kutte ne ki bhaka hai wo gussa aa gaye meditation toot gayi you know whatever yes. i have noticed this and you know yeah. e- even with people who go to the gym and it's like whenever they miss it they go yeah. crazy yeah well i'm one of those okay <laughs> <laughs> my wife is like that so i was like why are you going crazy just yeah. <laughs> i need some action now yeah, yeah. Do, i need to punch your face do your yoga do your yoga and be yeah. happy yeah. but she's yeah. not like that yeah. she's like yeah. getting you know aggressive now yeah so. yeah so you know i mean like that addiction to sattva is also very real and yeah. we need to recognize that um you know and like the, these extreme pressures we put on ourselves about like ki mereko itni purity se meditation karna hai itni purity se ye karna hai utni purity se karna hai but like have you given up your you know are you a brahmachari ah. have you moved to the hill what what is your other life lifestyle like mm. that is you know i mean where you require so yeah. much of why are you so strict yeah. with yourself when you're you not are not actually fitting it properly in your yeah, ecosystem yeah yeah right? i mean ultimately we have our responsibilities yeah. to our families to our parents to our jobs and all of that and i i really believe really 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 believe like the best kind of yoga is your karma yoga Uh, wow. you know uh, you, you i mean nothing should come <laughs> in between of doing your job i mean for me i need to do my job perfectly mm. i need to make sure that like you know uh, if i have to do something for my parents i'm going to do that yeah. if i have to do something for my dog i'm going to mm. do that if i have to feed the dogs in my street whatever jo bhi main karti hu that is my my karm is more important than you know me closing my eyes and okay. sitting for mm. an hour every day mm. you know g- good good for people who can actually <clears throat> do that wonderful mm. for them yeah. if they can carry it off but for me personally i feel like you know um we're forgetting that like you know yes it 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 has to be a balance i mean it, yeah. it can't just be this and you know yeah. just ignore the rest and that it comes across in the book as well and uh, you know my learnings from the book i mean it has just started because this is not a book which you read once and kind of you know ha mujhe to sab aa gaya matlab aisa nahi hone wala hai because you need to reread it and kind of put it into practice uh, somewhat Uh, let's talk about morning rituals because that's very interesting yeah. a lot of people have this kind of some people uh, you know blast music or uh, i have i know some people like me who blast music <laughs> same yeah you know, they blast music <laughs> same you know. yeah sometimes there's ap dillo yeah. loud playing yeah, loudly just, in the morning just wow. ap dillo <laughs> just ap dillo and uh, so, somebody told me like why do you do that just put yeah. on some bhajan or something Bujani you know so then, <laughs> i don't want that yeah. i just i just want some heavy metal in my yeah. life so yeah. like that yeah. so what about these morning uh, rituals again you know i love uh, this about your book that it's very pragmatic yeah you know, whenever you have suggested something you have again step back and yeah. kind of also said that okay if this doesn't work for you you do something else yeah. that's quite cool to be yeah. honest and Thank tell you. us more about the morning rituals how it changed you uh, because morning rituals because 70% that's why and then we'll obviously talk about the night one so i mean okay so one thing i want really people and that that's what i try to reflect in the cover is mm-hmm. as well is that like um when you think of morning rituals a lot of our morning rituals are already practiced at night hmm 
you know so mm-hmm. what we do at night determines mm-hmm. our day and what mm-hmm. we do in the day determines our night so mm-hmm. first of all we do switch our thinking around like yeah. that it's kind of so strange. It's it's a train, right? It's a, it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, you connected. can't be like you know. My morning has to be perfect, but I slept at eleven o'clock at night within half an hour of me eating like a heavy dinner. Yes. You know, then you know your morning is going to be screwed. Yeah. Uh, so what did you do the night before? First mm. of all, we need to look at that. Like you know, is there adequate time before you went to bed? Did you eat a lot of fiber in your dinner? Mm. Did you eat a light yeah. meal as opposed to a heavy yeah. meal? Because sometimes we eat a heavy meal and we wake up feeling really tired. Yeah. So all of those things, you know. Yeah. So that's how you will wake up fresh. Yeah. Then of course, like um, one of the most important things that I feel people need to train themselves to do, and somehow I've trained myself to do this, but okay. somehow when I have a flight to catch, this training just goes out of the okay. listing. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Waking up without an alarm. Oh yes. Right. I yes, mean, you otherwise, it in yeah. Movie, yes. I mean, that is that is really the ideal way to uh, to wake up because you don't want to shave that REM sleep, which is so important for your yes. emotional health, yes. well-being, and your creativity. Yeah. But of course, like just then train for karni hoti, just then try for karni hoti, and then somehow but that's that's what <laughs> you don't wake up. About, yeah. Uh, you have yeah. written about it, no? Yeah. Ki, uh, you know. The REM and not many people understand. Yeah. It. Of course, with smartwatches and everything, they know know the lingo now because it shows up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but how important is it? How crucial is it? Well, you know, I mean, NREM and REM sleep mm-hmm. are both important. NREM mm-hmm. happens in the first half of the night. Yeah. REM is like you know when we start like you know when I start moving and mm-hmm. you know you, when you start dreaming. That is your yeah. REM sleep, and that's mm-hmm. really important mm-hmm. because that determines our mood, the, mm-hmm. our emotional well being, mm-hmm. our creativity, all the things that actually mm-hmm. make us. Function healthily and yeah. happily, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not just about uh, even memory retention for that matter. Okay. Um, you know, uh, so uh, we need to have like both cycles of sleep are very important. Okay. And uh, the best kind of sleep is when you wake up on your own as opposed mm-hmm. to an alarm. You know, ideally, we should train our bodies to do that. Sabka sleep cycle hota hai. Like by, I don't know what your age is. By yeah. my na- by my age, I know my requirement of sleep. Are we really doing this? Like, <laughs> no, okay. I mean, we don't want to do this. <laughs> Me especially, I don't want to do this. I'm okay? thirty. I'm thirty. Ha, so, okay. Yeah. I'm also. I'm younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. I'm five years younger Look, than you. <laughs> you, I know what you mean. Uh, what you mean? It becomes slightly mm-hmm. kind of you know uh, everything. If you want to kind of remodel your life, it becomes slightly tougher. Uh, maybe the twenties can be. It can be easier. And everything gets slightly tougher. Yeah. Also, like you yeah. know, um, a lot of the times um, when we grow older, we have things like memory loss and like mm. sleep, lack of sleep, uh, and you don't know whether those yeah. things are actually connected, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what scientists are mm. trying to figure out. Yeah. Maybe like you know, lack of sleep mm. is related to memory mm. loss yeah. uh, because you know, the more you sleep, it does help you retain your memories, right? Yeah. So that is very important. And like we know our sleep cycles by our age, right? I know yeah. I need seven and a half hours of sleep. That is that is the sleep that I'm very happy with. There are a lot yeah, of people friends. who <laughs> yeah, seven and a half yeah. is the just the right is the magic number, magic right? Magic number. Eight, eight. How eight did sometimes. that happen? You know, why are people propagating this six hour bullshit? Do they? They they do. People are doing six hours. And I know them, and people are doing five hours. Ah, uh, depends. You know, I mean, if people are doing a lot of meditation, yeah. now this is something that was told mm-hmm. to me by a somnologist when I was mm-hmm. doing a story on meditation in Harper's Bazaar. Okay. So he did tell me that if you meditate for even fifteen minutes a day, mm-hmm. and in that much meditation, also you will actually meditate only for like. He said a minute or two, but I feel like that's also a luxury. Okay. Actual meditation, okay. jo hoti hai, that mm-hmm. like proper, properly that cut off, even if you get mm-hmm. like that thirty minutes of like mm-hmm. complete disconnection, is mm-hmm. a luxury, right? Wow. Because it's just like you know, I mean, uh, for for most people who are meditating, yeah. you always there's always some sort of flow of thoughts happening. Yeah. So anyway, he said like you know, in that fifteen minutes of meditation, even if you can meditate for a for a minute or two minutes, yeah. that will reduce your need for sleep by a couple of hours wow. at night. Yeah. So that's that is lot. yeah yeah. So if you're if you're doing spiritual activities, that's again like the power of ritual, right? Yes. I mean uh, that dis- that disconnection, mm-hmm. um, non sleep depressed, mm-hmm. which I have mentioned in mm-hmm. the book, yes. is like like meditation is something yeah. like that. Um, so you know, I mean, by meditating. By the way, before I forget, yeah, I changed my. I think so. I wrote somewhere. I think I wrote on LinkedIn, and I made a post. Uh, the books I was reading in February. And one of uh, your book was there, so I wrote that ASAP. I, you know, what I did, I ordered this uh, copper, you know, tongue cleaner okay. from Amazon okay. because you have written about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, so yeah, um, I, I did that immediately. I, I didn't know. Aren't you addicted to that now? 
I mean like totally. you know you can't even like when you go to a you know when you travel and you go to a hotel room you don't have a tongue cleaner you just feel like a little like something's missing no i will not uh, do it at all if right. i don't have that one oh okay. really so i'm so addicted now yeah. and it has just been 10 15 days 15 yeah. days yeah. to be precise yeah because tabhi i think so i received the book and i immediately told my daughter as well and my wife that okay we are doing this and this is what she has suggested we are doing this so it's like i'm that. so glad i'm so, so glad incremental changes yeah and uh, would you like to tell uh, us more about the sometimes the devices we are using somewhat yeah. it, um uh, not screens but you know stuff like that very small uh, you know change so that, yeah. let's just start with screens first yeah, of all right yeah. i mean when we wake up in the morning like you know you we are supposedly in the alpha state of mind yeah. you know which is supposed to be the gateway to the subconscious mm. and what most of us do is like i you know you reach out for your phone and then you mm-hmm. see what messages we have ekdam se mood kharab ho jata hai mera to mood kharab ho jata hai you know okay. and like that's how i notice like you know sometimes when i don't reach for my i mean when i do reach for my phone mm-hmm. you know because i'm thinking about something mm. that the day passes in a very different way as opposed to if i just keep my phone away from my from myself for an hour after waking mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. like really do all my morning rituals without yeah. actually looking at the phone without having anybody's energy in yes. my space uh you know or my family space you know i that that's very important um then other than that like the first thing like first really kaise lekin masuda it's uh, it's very tough now because you know uh i read in the book as well it has come out and yeah. you know because it is one of your frustrations yeah. of kind of you know because it's yeah. tough to implement as well yeah. for others i don't yeah. know if it, it would work for you and i also try every day by the way and yeah. i'm sure our team here who will be in the bts uh will are trying as well but it's easier said than done you know yeah well i completely agree you are right about that but these these are just small ways with how you like you said incremental things mm-hmm. right i mean this mm-hmm. these are also small ways about how you control your mind Uh, right i mean just keep your phone away from you like don't do mm, it for an hour just do mm, it for 10 minutes just mm, do it for 15 minutes mm, nothing is that urgent that you mm, know you you've slept for i know 7 and a half hours it yes. can wait for 7 hours 7 hours yeah. 45 minutes also yeah. Yeah. you know uh, why give your phone that much control over you anyway your eyes are going to be glued to the phone for the rest of the day so you know in give your eyes really laptop or any any other screen really skin. really so you know give yourself some rest yeah. um then of course i mean there's so many things to do in the morning but i always tell people like you know start with like one ritual or two rituals don't make yeah. your mornings very heavy mm-hmm. uh like personally i love the whole like you know um tongue cleaning mm-hmm. um you know um, pulling oil pulling i yeah. just love oil pulling tell tell because people won't know about it so a little really? bit about that okay uh, nahi pata ho to log nahi pata ho hame aisa lag raha hai ki jaise mujhe sari books ke baare mein pata rehta hai in general i'm in my own hunky dory world right but generally logo ko pata hi nahi hai ah uh, okay okay so, fair enough logo ke morning ritual na bahut hi simplistic hai acha in reality so okay. i really wanted to kind of you know you should tell everybody that you know what is it exactly So the first thing okay let's let I'll just talk in first person because uh, that's how I like to whatever yeah, yeah, you know uh, that's that's my style yeah, of uh, totally. if somebody wants to you know pick up something from this yeah. I like to clean my eyes with rose water every morning okay um you know that is what, what my dadi used to do and mm. she used to say that like you know if you clean your eyes with rose water mm. your eye whites they turn so white that they almost look blue Wow. Um so you know you can get your eye cups also mm. to do that mm-hmm. but if you don't have eye cups mm. then you can just take like some rose water steam distilled of course good quality steam distilled okay. rose water in the in the in the palm of your hand and just put your you know your okay. eye into it and just rotate yeah. it left and right and whatever it really takes away the debris of the of of the night wow. uh you know eyes are supposed to be like the seat of pith mm. you know pith is like all you know very fiery very heating yes. uh, you know so rose water is very cooling for the eyes mm. it's astringent so all the chip chip up one of the mm. eyes really goes away you know it just really feels very clear it makes calm. a lot of sense yeah. yeah so you can you can you can try that that's I a, will do it. it's a, it's a wonderful thing to my do eyes are screwed anyway so so my <laughs> <laughs> so I might I better try it you know I don't know And guys do try it as well because it's a very simple thing it's very uh, you know uh, what do you call it traditional yeah And it's easy to pull off i think so it's just like brushing your teeth so do try it also like i just want to quickly like digress and say that you know we're all looking for bliss Uh, mm. you know and like oh uh, when i reach this state i'll find bliss when i mm. do 40 hours of meditation i'll find bliss when i'll find this i'll find bliss mm. but you know what bliss is mm. bliss is coming back home feeling completely parched and drinking that water 
bliss yeah. is waking up in the morning and splashing your eyes with cool rose water mm. you know bliss is sitting with a friend after a really long and yeah. giving them a hug you know yeah. these are like you totally. will you will never find a moment of bliss which is so amazing and so huge or whatever yeah. you know after a long run you sit down yes. like you know or it's just it's just these small like tiny 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 things that you do or, so or hosting authors in person oh <laughs> thank you oh my you goodness know, because it's, so it's, no, it's, thank it's you. just that we were speaking about it i mean i'm not talking about me and not authors no, in no, no. <laughs> no it is it is that way is because yes. uh, so we were talking about bliss and you know um talking to authors in person g- gives you a completely different perspective you know it's all good you know talking to people online but this experience is total bliss for me at least and you know i'm so happy and we digress but you know let's talk about you uh you have come into this uh you no, know no but first i want to ask you okay. how did you start doing this oh yes i mean it's uh, back in uh, I, i would say back in 2015 as like you know a typical story uh, mm-hmm. but i was working as a professor of electrical engineering and then you know i wasn't getting this bliss feeling yeah and i was like i was married i mm-hmm. got married in uh, 2014 and my mm-hmm. wife had a business background and you know uh she encouraged me and that's it. we jumped right in and you know thought okay let's work in the world of books and uh, uh, maybe bring something you know to it so that's how it all community building and all these things you quit Now, your the, job and that was yeah, also that it. led to bliss right yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that same same bliss. same so, same you know um, a great segue to know about you because right. you know uh, how have you kind of you know and what do you feel right now you know coming into this uh way back in which well i quit i quit my job in 2016, 2016 and it okay. really did me it, it it really took a lot of time for me to get my head around it because yeah. uh, a lot of people advised me not to quit my job they were like are kabhi na kabhi to editor mm-hmm. banai mm-hmm. denge tujhe and whatever and i was like matlab main tangi rahu yahan pe editor and banne ke liye you know brands. i was working with very good yeah. brands and like you know i was doing very well i was very very respected not that mm-hmm. i'm not now but i really felt like you know because i'm mm-hmm. a i'm a slogger Okay. You know, I mean, I'm really very mentally and all that. Mm. You know, this much hard work. If I do for myself, I can always make something of myself. Wow, that's a great thought, actually. Yeah, you and know, it, you uh, keep on. It increases also. Because yeah, you, have, you can concentrate on. Yeah. You. Yeah, exactly. So you know, I started. Uh, I did my yoga teacher's training as soon as I quit. Mm-hmm. While I was doing my yoga teacher's training, uh, you know, I started freelancing. Uh, I started building up a website, which is now kind of defunct. I don't have time for it anymore. Called okay. Be Beauty. Mm-hmm. So you know, I st- I became a blogger. It should come back. Um, the website. Yeah, but you know, everything is on Instagram now. Yes. So you know, nobody like I don't know. Blogs and web websites are still relevant. I think news newsletters are having a moment. Newsletters. newsletters. Uh, newsletters Definitely. are having a moment. Yeah, yeah. But then I'm also working on my third book. We'll talk about that later. Yes. Um. So you know, I mean, it's 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 been a long journey actually to come. Yeah. To where I am yeah. now, it's yeah. like what 2016. Now you do the math. I'm very bad. My Vaishnavi is going to pass. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Seven years. So uh, it's been seven years, and yeah. it's in seven years. Well, you know, I've done a book. I have two seasons of my podcast. It's mm. all right. I have my mm. column. Like touch wood, God's been kind. I'm very, mm. very grateful. Mm. Uh, but yeah, coming back to morning rituals, which you were asking me no, about. No, I want to go deeper into that okay. because okay. because okay. 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 you know you're writing a book, right? Because. Why did you choose the book way? Because you know you could have easily done. Perhaps you you talked about newsletters and you know the website. Of course, Instagram. You're great on Instagram, by the way. I love I love social media. Tell us a bit about that also because okay. social media it's not an easy game. Yeah, yeah, it's not. And it gets frustrating also yeah. after a point of time because uh, one of my close friends, which we we were talking about her earlier, yeah, yeah, and she was telling me that it gets kind of you know. where will the next content come from sometimes yeah. it's like that yeah. so tell us th- about that and why books. books yeah so books and social media are so opposite i feel like mm. in a way they both of them keep each other balanced they keep mm. me balanced book i definitely wanted to write much before okay. i wanted to do social media i mm. knew i had a book in mind i i loved reading all these ayurvedic books in the market mm. by you know dr robert sobo then vasant lad and whatever and lovely books they write but i felt like there is not something which is very palatable for like the normal janta mm. you know i enjoy it because i love researching about these things this is my field i love yes. wellness i write about wellness yeah. you know i'll even pick up like you know ashtanga hridayam and like really textbook ayurvedic books and you know decipher those yeah. but i felt like you know there is not like something which is easy to follow easy mm. to whatever so i just mm. wanted to kind of you know 
um uh, write something which is very easy to follow yeah. which is simple which you know well, which, which kind yeah. of revives the usage of everything also yeah. because you know why we're waiting for something like you know we're waiting for something to go west become a super food and then we start enjoying uh. it so i just wanted to break that cycle and you know i knew i had a book in in me and you know that's why that's why you know when i quit my job actually that was my one of my first things to do I, that was my aim to actually write a book <coughs> <coughs> social media and books that which is why i i do both the things okay because they keep me balanced hmm you know because they're so opposite yes. right books is a book writing my book is such a it's so solitary an experience yeah. in fact ritual was supposed to be out in uh, march of 2020 okay. but then you know covid happened not that i was like ready with the book at all ritual <laughs> took a really long time which yeah. like somebody said yeah ritual took a really lo- long time to actually write mm. uh, because uh, you know it wasn't as straightforward mm. as glow mm. uh, glow is just like okay these are the herbs and once i figured out and that's how i write my books by the way yeah. I I always figure out the table of contents first okay. because that is a place where I can you know you were asking me about like tell us the process of how this uh, uh, sun and moon uh. happened and everything so my table of contents is where I can put the stamp of my own personality okay. you know it's like what am I bringing uh, mm. to board on on board like as a as the beauty director as somebody who's who's written on the subject for mm-hmm. like two decades what am i where where, where is my personality yes. here rather than just being like a textbook information guide It of sorts it becomes boring yeah. yeah so for me like the table of contents is the place where i have okay. where i can you know make the book easy to navigate okay. and interesting and i really feel and this is a tip for all like you know mm-hmm. upcoming writers and i'm talking non fiction mm-hmm. because that's the experience yeah. i have right now mm-hmm. that if you really want to write a successful book i mm-hmm. feel it all lies in the table of contents because okay. that's where the magic lies and mm-hmm. then you just have to sort of like fill in the blanks and like you just gave me like uh what do they call it mana <laughs> from, the, <laughs> from what because i was discussing the same thing with my uh to be book coach or maybe right yeah, so i'm writing right. something right. and you know uh, she said a similar thing you kind of there are only two kinds of people hmm. one who have the table of contents sorted hmm. and those are the most wonderful people to you know work with because it's all there and then it it gets easier from there and great advice by you because it works just also i will also like credit my journalism yeah. background because yes. the thing is that when you're a journalist you don't get infatuated with your own words mm. so you know i always have my editor's voice in my head yeah. and i worked with very tough editors like priya ramani yeah. was like my first editor in oh, magazine wow. you know okay. like you yes. know i mean she's yes, so accomplished yes, just love her yeah. so <laughs> you know her nishad fatima you know all these like i've worked with like such tough editors like they've never allowed me to get infatuated with my own words there's no like meandering in sentences hmm. like every <coughs> every sentence has to be of direct interest to my reader that's how i write okay. you know i mean either it has to be interesting or it has to be stimulating or it has to be useful hmm. so i don't i don't write you know um my books are not very self indulgent also okay. because you know they're non fiction so they can't be Um, they shouldn't be i mean because uh, otherwise fiction is the way to do it fiction is also the way to do it but even in fiction i feel like there are a lot of writers who would just get completely infatuated like there's only like a few writers whose descriptors that i really like like mm. murakami Kam- you can like yes. i can really read his lines about like describing a room or for that matter vikram seth who puts in so much totally, effort you know totally. in, in research because we were talking yeah. about uh, uh, murakami in a linkedin audio event right. recently right. i just jumped in you know <laughs> i thought ye cool event ho raha hai right. so you know i just jumped in and we were just speaking about this thing yeah the descriptions it's like so nice the way they are just walking around yeah and we are enjoying it yeah you know? and it's just like so and it's just so straightforward and so yeah. simply done i feel like the best books are very simply done and they're very straightforward without i mean that's just the way i see it right i mean there are many no i think you're right, right because we uh, yes yesterday we were talking to shreya punj and she's a commissioning editor and uh, uh now a book influencer okay. <laughs> but okay. you know she doesn't like the word at all yeah. uh, so we we were talking about overwriting right and that's what you're saying i mean it's validation because if you're overwriting then yeah. again and she said that a lot of indian writers kind of end up doing that oh yes of course listen no. i've been i you know <laughs> as as beauty director like you know i've commissioned so many stories yes. oh my my goodness you tell them 1500 words they'll come back with 3000 and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> Where's the discipline? Where's the discipline? You know, I, I just, just give me like a axe to hack <laughs> through this article. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that is very brilliant. I, I think you have told us a lot about the process, and it's incredible because whenever somebody's starting to kind of get into this, uh, it's hard, and people get confused. So yeah. 
I would like to talk about uh, reading because it's the Book Nerds podcast. Uh, a lot of people, I mean, they are struggling with it because they want to really kind of read uh, and, you know, bring it into their sort of what they're doing every day. But they're struggling with it. And again, it's, it comes down to rituals. And uh, what do you suggest? Uh, have you tried incorporating it into your schedule? Reading? And, and suggesting it to people? So, or, you yeah. know what? Like, I mean, as all of us, all of us live in this age of social media and like constant stimulation. It's mm-hmm. like our, our our daily lives need to be, you know, metaphorically yeah. a bag of chips. That's what yeah. it's turned into. We're just reaching mm-hmm. out for more and more stimulation all the time, isn't yeah. it? So, I just feel like... I need a book that is equally stimulating and Mm -hmm. masala-like to get into the habit of reading. You know, if I suddenly think that, oh, I'm only going to read Pulitzer Prize winning authors, I'll just, you know, I I will not be able to get into the habit of reading. So, I mean, personally, uh, you shouldn't ask me about reading like good books because I read all like very, like, I I, I like masala books. I like to, um, um, (coughs) Jackie Collins' uh, world is full full of married uh, married men, Hollywood wives. You know, uh, stuff nice. like that. You know, like uh-huh. really like masala books because, you know, otherwise I'm doing so much of research, I'm writing a little thing about this herb, that herb, this, whatever. So I you just, just need to have fun with it. I just want something which is easy, which yeah. takes me away from things. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, some masala I read, mm-hmm. I feel entertained and I can go to bed. Awesome. You know, um, yeah. so those are those are my books of, you know, um, otherwise I like, you know, short stories by Chekhov. Again, very easy to read. Yes. Um, you know, I don't want to read anything very heavy. Yeah. Of course, like once you get into the habit of reading, then you mm. read a lot of like the, the heavier books. But, but I've I, noticed that as well yeah. because although I love non-fiction uh, and I can learn from it, yeah. but when I'm in that sort of mood, when I want to watch maybe a class on Netflix, it's streaming right now, guys. But, you know, just watch it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, so well, that's like on my list to watch. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. But, yeah. you know, those kind of books. Yeah. Which we you can just have fun with. Yeah. It, it's incredible. It, it's or that so author much fun. who's written the Zoya Factor. Gosh, I can't believe Anuja. Anuja, Anuja. Chawar, she's, amazing. she's amazing. She's amazing. Those pricey Thakur girls yes. and those kind of books. Just love those yes. kind of books, you yes. know. So I yeah. I get what yeah. you're saying that yeah. you know it's important to have fun with it. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll the 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 ritual and habit. You're not going to get a glow. You, you nobody's going to get a gold medalist. For you know, a gold medal for for uh, for reading a book, you know. Yeah, so you know, read it for your pleasure. I would uh, give it, but yeah, <laughs> we have given it actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. So we award this cat. You know, we do these awards. You know? Right. We give it like it's not a gold medal. It's right. the Book Nerds Awards, like something like that. Oh, it's, it's corny, but it's there. So but like in some like you know some people I've seen they will bring out a book of I don't know quantum physics. No. And I just know that boy, you have to talk to me. I know. Yes, truly, truly, truly. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about your medita- meditation experience because you have done it and uh, if you're comfortable talking about it, you can you share some of it? Maybe how does it help uh, exactly you know, and on a personal level? So I don't want to go into too much detail about it because one should not really talk about meditation, okay. especially since like a lot of people will be see- seeing this. Yeah. I don't want to talk about mm-hmm. it. But safe to say that I have tried like pretty much every kind of meditation from okay. transcendental mm. to vipassana to mm. Jab mm. to, you know, like your normal breath work yeah. and all of that I've, mm. I've tried. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, I have had like <coughs> meditation has disconnected me from reality in okay. a good way. Meditation, especially when I'm stressed, like, you know, I keep going through a mala, whatever, back and forth, back and forth. And somehow the thing is that when the mind gets settled, now the mm. answer just comes up on its own. It's really helped okay. me find the right answer to things. Okay. Um, you know, so it's really... Um, it, and also not every kind of meditation is suitable for everyone. Like okay. I love doing Vipassana in the mountains. <laughs> Even now if I go back to the hills and I practice Vipassana, it happens very naturally and very easily. But if I try to practice it here in mm-hmm. Delhi, it drives me crazy. Oh, uh, okay. You know, it makes me very anxious. It makes me very worried and whatever. So um, in fact, I met like this uh, Dr. Mathai of uh, Saukya. Okay. In Bangalore, mm-hmm. it's like a wellness retreat where okay. Charles and Camilla, they're also... Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, he met me and he's like, you know, the kind of personality that you have, which is very effervescent mm-hmm. and whatever, mm-hmm. it's more suited to something like a job than a Vipassana. Okay. But I already know that. 
Okay. You know, I know that through a meditation mm-hmm. practice that a mm-hmm. mala meditation is much better for me than a vipassana. Yeah. So um, again, like not one size fit, fits all. And like the only thing that kind of like, you know, irritates me about like most of the meditation school and spiritual schools for that matter is that everybody says that this is the only path to salvation. Ah. Whereas like, you know, maybe like sometimes, sometimes, you know. I, like I you just, said, Karan Yogi is yeah, like. Yeah, sometimes I wonder that like, you know, maybe we'll go up and then God will tell us that like, yeah. I to you to wasted your time. Please go back down there, live your life and then you come up again. That's and that's how you'll get Nirvana. How do we know? So, I mean, I just keep thinking about this. I keep questioning all these things. But uh, but yeah, I've had a very good run with the meditation. I have had some excellent teachers. I like different kind of meditation mm-hmm. and I really observe how like some meditations give me a headache, some meditations mm-hmm. this thing, what kind of mantras I like. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 been a good good run and it's really, really helps you bring the magic in life. But I'll tell everyone that please find a teacher to do your meditation. Okay. Like online guided meditation, you can do up to a point, but if you mm-hmm. really want to advance and do it seriously, yeah. then you should find a teacher. So, so it, it is just like workouts, if you do it wrong, it things can go wrong for you or yeah. or you you won't learn uh, better no they can also go wrong for you because okay. like a lot of us who are prone to overthinking and anxiety and mm-hmm. all of that uh, if we try to meditate yeah. like sometimes it happens you know if you yeah. haven't been guided properly yes. then you know um, you come out of the meditation feeling very okay. heavy i'll tell you another incident yeah. uh, you know i went to kerala to write this story for kondanas traveler mm-hmm. and uh, the guide who was okay. with us lovely guy he told me about his friend that he would take for meditation in the temple okay. every morning. This guy mm-hmm. would go to the temple every morning and okay. you know, um, and after his meditation, he was like, he, this guy used to come back so angry okay. and he used to say, listen, you're much more chilled when you're drinking in the evening than when I take you in the morning to the temple for meditation, oh you come, come so angry and that, yeah. ha- that happens to a lot of people mm-hmm. because you know, um, usually you know you're meditating, you think of something like, oh my god, shit, my mind is mm-hmm. run again. Why can't I do this? Why can't my, why can't I control my mm-hmm. thoughts? You get so stressed yeah. by yeah. trying to meditate yeah. that by the time you sit up, or you get up from meditation, you become so frustrated. Yeah. So I feel like it's very important to not judge your meditation, and okay. you, for that you need someone to guide you through the process. In, okay. in, in, in okay. you know, and Vipassana has given me so many tips. Mm-hmm. Transcendental meditation has given me so many tips. Like all the things that I have learned from those meditations, I am applying in a meditation that is so suited yeah. to me. So it's a great uh, way to do it. I mean, just yeah. customize according to your preference. No, I mean, I still use the, I, I still use the, I, I still use the technique that is given for okay. the mala. Okay. But like, it's just like some learning I have learned from there. Some okay. learning I've learned from here. Okay. So I, okay. you know, so I've not customized it, but it's okay. just like. You know, you just learn so many things from different yes, people, like yes. you, like you in the Book Nerds podcast. Like you, yeah. you're listening to so many authors. Yeah, even uh, between day one and day two of the shoot, I have kind of you know learned a few things uh, because there is commonality as well as there there are contrasting you know opinions. Correct. Yeah. So uh, it's quite interesting in in terms of books as well. You yeah. know, you read uh, books in one sort of domain, mm. like for example, wellness, I may just go and read five more yeah. to kind of form an opinion about what's going on. Yeah. Not just depend on one, yeah. uh, because that would be kind of, uh, uh, I think, lazy. <laughs> so I try to do that. Yeah. I try to read more in one genre and then kind of come to certain conclusions, not conclusions, but uh, learnings. So right. it's it's that it could be fiction and just have fun with it. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. Okay. So the book is out now for a bit. Now, what is the kind of reader feedback? And of course, also share a bit of feedback from Glow. You know, right. how, and how does that kind of contribute to your writing arc? Uh, just give us a glimpse of that. I think uh, I'm so grateful to God that I've had the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. Glow was just... <laughs> I mean, it was such a, it was just such a shock because Glow had no trajectory. Okay. It shot up like a rocket. Wow. You know, and give us a sense, like, you know, g- g- can you give us numbers? I don't know. I haven't, even, I haven't even asked, sense. but I will say that every day about 50, 60 women would tag me on their posts. Wow. You know, stories that we've got it, we've got it. Tuck, 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 tuck. I mean, and I'm like, how much do I keep sharing? It was impossible, impossible. for me to yeah. even share the amount of people this had is, like this is amazing. Thing. You yeah. know, and I felt like, you know, the name that I chose, mm-hmm. Glow. Mm-hmm. And in Glow, I was very cognizant about like, you know, I have to choose, you know, uh, the phrases. Mm-hmm. And that's another tip mm-hmm. for, for budding writers. Mm-hmm. 
चूज नेम्स एंड फ्रेजेस दैट पीपल विल बी गूगलिंग because because you know 70% <coughs> of books and this is thank you gurveen for this tip my mm-hmm. editor she gave me this tip that mm-hmm. 70% of the book sales happen on amazon so yeah. everybody wants to glow <coughs> yes. everyone wants to glow <laughs> and you know indian food uh, recipes and rituals for beauty in beauty inside and out these are the keywords all these things keywords. people are people are googling and even even so, via google i mean you know it is it helps in seo as well and it's technical also yeah yeah so Makes you have sense. to be smart like that yeah. so that that's what i did and then of course the content of the book ultimately a book will not become successful if it is badly written if it is a shit book it will not become successful mm-hmm. so glow was just insane like this uh, and you know even today when i meet like complete strangers and they're like oh you're an author okay what's the right oh have, are you the one who's written glow so that's really mm-hmm. become my identity yeah um so i'm really like super grateful i didn't even expect it to become such a big success you know because i was I'm like hypercritical as all writers are mm. about you know whatever i written and yes. i'm like mm, maybe i could have done this better maybe i could have done that better oh really people like it that much <laughs> um ritual is something that i took much longer to write mm. uh it's also taking a little bit longer to grow it is growing like mm. this but it's yeah. a steady growth but yeah. it's not shooting up like a right. rocket and right. do you know why because mm. everybody wants to glow but everybody does not want to do a ritual that requires that discipline yes, yes exactly yes. um but the thing is i'm getting so much critical acclaim for it yes. uh you know i mean like priya ramani has written like yeah. a, a, a column yeah. about it and you know my journalist friends mm-hmm. like they actually i'm getting calls from my senior journalist friends yeah. saying that listen i just finished reading your book it is so good people are quoting this book back to me yeah. so you know it's more and also critically when, you know kind of strangers start posting about it no yeah. i mean even um, like i i don't know you know you right uh, but you know i appreciated uh, the book and tried to put it into practice right and this is yeah. what i suppose matters yes. uh, if somebody is just reading it and not putting anything into practice yeah What's the point? Yeah, you know, it's yeah, a non-fiction. Yeah, yeah. Like, There's a purpose to it. You know, I mean, like a uh, long time back, I was supposed to collaborate with somebody, and like you know, we couldn't actually collaborate and start a business together because this other person was like, "Oh, I want to change millions of life," and I was like, "You know what? I don't care about millions of life. If I can just change one person's life, I'm mm. happy." Mm. So you know, uh, that's the same thing with my books. Uh, you know, if if even one person, and then. You know the best compliment I get I got about Ritual was from some, from one of my followers and I feel really shy about like sharing these kind of comments no, so I never fine. so I never no, so no, I never no. share it on Instagram but like you know since we are talking about this like you know a lot of people share like Haan, you know okay. nice things because thodi sharam aati hai I don't <coughs> share it so you know one of these girls she had uh, written to me and said you know Vasudha I'm so thankful to you writing this book because my mother who had anxiety mm-hmm. for the first time I'm seeing her reading your book and i can see that she's feeling pretty peaceful and she's trying oh, to nice. massage her face while uh. she's reading your book and i was like you know what this just this comment my mm. book has been written for this and see. that like you know my work is uh. done it was just so that is the kind of yes. feedback a feedback yes. that i've got for ritual it's, it's priceless it's just really priceless it's yeah. just like really what i wanted i mm. wanted magic to go yeah. back in people's lives and yeah. that is exactly what this book has done yeah. and it is so satisfying you know and it's underrated you know what uh, some content can do yeah. i mean it's it can come in any form it could be audible let's talk about that a little bit yeah. also, you know <laughs> and uh, you know it's underrated yeah there are people who have actually benefited and i am benefiting uh, because of certain books uh, yeah. including yours and Thank you. Uh, you one has to kind of compliment these authors yeah. i mean you. i mean i literally had tears in my eyes in fact you know no, yeah, i know i saw just, that uh, and it's, it's I mean, quite no, when, relevant when she when she actually told me about ah, that like I now know. also but even then when she told me about it that time so i was started bawling because yeah. it was just like <laughs> i was like wow this is really like this yes. is really made my day yes. so that is the this is the kind of difference between glow and uh, ritual okay. glow mm-hmm. is like i want this want 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 ah. and like with ritual is like i feel this mm-hmm. you know so there's a difference yeah, yeah. so um and also i'm much more proud of i mean i love glow i'm so grateful that i wrote it but do you know <laughs> i mean this is, this is this is mera mere mere chhota bachcha jo mujhe you know zyada laad laya yes yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> very soon it will become the no, middle child <laughs> yes no the deal uh, i hope my younger one doesn't watch this but it is true it is true yes. or oh, the older one doesn't watch yes. yeah older one doesn't watch yes. yes. so yeah. it happens and uh, you know let's talk about uh because so many of us are uh, night owls now we watch yeah. netflix yeah we uh, you know in the wee hours of the night we are just on youtube 
intuition is even like you know my father has served in the in the valley so okay. it can you know intuition can save your life it yeah. can save you from a bad relationship it can yes. you know make you uh, you know uh, choose between the right job and the yes. wrong job or you know even just as simple as like i should be taking this route instead of that mm-hmm. route mm-hmm. so when we are in the evening we are always constantly out of focused how will we listen to that inner voice mm-hmm. right and you know you can be outwardly focused as much as you want mm-hmm. when it's daylight yeah. because that's the energy of the sun the sun rules here and now the conscious mind action out 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 yeah. you know fully focus outside but the moon is introspective yeah. the moon is like when when the moonlight comes you just have to like really look in words you know just mm-hmm. unwind and whatever and that's why like you know uh we we we're not working physically that hard yeah. but we are more tired than ever Truly. because our mentally we are so exhausted that constantly our attention is focused outside yeah. so i feel like you know at in the evening again if you're just going to keep focusing on other person's opinion wo ye bol raha hai ye ye bol rahi you how am i sharpening my yes. own intelligence and my yeah. own intuition hmm. right i mean and that is very important because what may be good for you may not mm. be good for me yeah. and the only way we can sharpen our own intuition is by doing breath work by mm. doing meditation by doing any activity that takes us inwards it could be thrata it could be like you know exercising it could yeah. be it could even be like you know taking a long bath sometimes you haven't you noticed like yes, when you yes, are yes, totally. when you are like taking a bath and suddenly like an idea comes up are yes. mujhe ye karna chahiye when yes. you are going for a walk mujhe ye karna chahiye you know going for a run mujhe ye karna chahiye yeah. so solitary activity like obviously if you have children you yeah. can't avoid that but at least like you at least you you know you're spending time with your kids yeah. that's okay but it's but, i think it's uh, half an hour is doable yeah but in any case a, you know a lot of people they tell me and that's i'm glad you brought that up mm-hmm. because a lot of people tell me oh you must have all the time in the world to do, to to do these rituals mm-hmm. and i'm like listen all of us have all the time in yeah. the world how much how many hours do you average on your phone because now the mm-hmm. phone calculates that na 4 ghante to sabhi ke aate hain right so 4 hours mm-hmm. you're spending on your phone mm-hmm. like you can't spend half an hour for a ritual <laughs> truly truly do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so evening is all about introspection because what mm-hmm. you are doing by like always keeping your attention on like this series that series ye wo whatever yes. you're losing you're losing your instinct yes. you're losing whatever that's why hum log sare भटके भटके से रहते हैं यू नो लाइक शार्पन योर ओन माइंड द बिगेस्ट गुरु इज इन साइड अस सो लाइक यू नो नर्चर दैट गुरु गुरु आर इवनिंग्स आर फॉर दैट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डेफिनेटली कीप योर स्क्रीन्स अवे लाइक रियली डेफिनेटली कीप योर स्क्रीन्स अवे या रियली इट्स इट्स देयर इज नो एक्सक्यूज आल्सो सर में दर्द हो जाता है डू यू फील लाइक आफ्टर हाफ एन आवर आफ्टर यू कंटीन्यूअसली वॉच इंस्टाग्राम यस 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 इट्स अ ह्यूज इशू एंड ड्रेनिंग या यू नो इट्स लाइक एनर्जी लाइक समबडी हैज टेकन यू कैन फील इट यू नो इट्स लाइक दैट कलेक्टिव गैगल ऑफ वॉइसेस हैज drained my energy so i don't want to carry it with me yeah. in the night so you know even if you don't want to do anything you read a book you go for a mm. walk khana khao you go for it's a walk basically unwinding yeah and listen kind of listen to music you know give yourself a foot massage mm. everybody has a little bit of coconut oil in their in their house mm. ghee sab kuch sab kuch hota hai ah. just do a little bit of nabhi mm. chikitsa massage your okay. feet do all of that like you know um What are the th- you know I mean I these are all traditional practices. These are all traditional practices. Just gone away. Yeah, yeah. and like you know I mean people talk about self love. Sometimes we have to physically put that self love inside mm. us. We have mm. to send that you know we have to remind ourselves that Hashtag we love ourselves. Self-love. Yeah, and it's not just about like <laughs> I treated myself to this hot chalk you know yes. you know whatever or I treated myself <laughs> to these Roma. you know these high heels or like self love you know yes. I can deserve whatever yes. I want. Self love is as simple as you know making sure that listen. This is my routine. This is the amount of sleep that I want. This is the food that I want to eat. Mm. This is how I respect my body. Mm. So evenings are all about that. And if you're not going to be in touch with your own instincts, yeah. uh, then really, what you know, you will be living a life according to somebody else. You know, yes. like your your Netflix is your influencer. Yes. Your YouTube is yes. your you are influenced Anything. by all of that. Yeah. You're not influenced by or you're not making True. choices for yourself. Yeah. You know, other people are making choices yeah. for you. So I feel like mm. evening. turn in words there are so many things to do yeah. that's time say khana khao and even if you want to sleep late that's fine yeah. follow a routine but just even if you're sleeping at 1 o'clock you're a night owl you're sleeping at 1 o'clock 
टू आवर्स बिफोर वन ओ क्लॉक और वन आवर बिफोर वन ओ क्लॉक बारह बजे लीव यूर फोन ये नहीं है बिल्कुल लाइक अंधेरा हो गया तभी मैं फोन पे लगी हुई हूँ यू नो डोंट डू दैट नो बट द रेपोकेशन इज दैट यू नो वी वेन वन फॉलोज दिस एंड आई बीन फॉलोइंग इट फॉर टू ईयर्स नाउ uh sometimes i fail and but you know and i that's keep, fine. keep on trying and that's you know? fine you know the uh so most of my friends are now kind of getting away from me and because i'm not partying with Haan, them ha you're telling oh yes absolutely because absolutely, i'm not consuming absolutely. alcohol yeah, yeah. and i'm same not here. smoking same with them here. so same it's, here. it does get tough Have you no. experienced it yourself? Or oh yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, and in fact, it's like you know, I go to parties and people are like, you know, eight o'clock party. I'm at the sharp eight. I'm at the party. Because I know that's an issue. That's an issue. That's an issue. You know, and then nobody is there. There's then, nobody is there. And right? people start becoming very <coughs> fresh at around nine thirty, ten. And then I'm like, I'm not going to sleep. And then I'm very honest with my friends. I say, listen, this is my bedtime. This is my whatever. And like, I just I become the worst party guest. And like you know, people are like people ask me that. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? You know, buddhi ho gaye. You're not having alcohol and whatever. And I'm like, I should be asking you why you're why why you're drinking like a known carcinogen. Alcohol has been connected to seven different kind of cancers. Yes. You know, and then you have like news on Instagram that like you if you use gel nail polish, that's carcinogenic. I'm like. <laughs> you are, you will have like five drinks in one night. That is not carcinogenic, yeah. and you'll find these short, short, shorty things. They don't put sunscreen because it's carcinogenic. You know, it's like come on. So, but uh, this is an issue because once you start kind yeah. of changing yeah. yourself, yeah. Uh, for example, if you're eating early, yeah, yeah, it's a huge issue. Yeah. So how yeah. do you party then? But क्या जरूर मतलब इसने बहुत पार्टी कर ली मैंने तो बहुत पार्टी कर ली माई ट्वेंटीज वो लाइक आई वॉज टोटली ऑफ माई फेस इन माई ट्वेंटीज यू नो आई हैव पार्टी लाइक अ लॉट मेरा पेट भर गया है Gone. You know, now is my time of like really indulging with myself. Awesome. Yeah. I have literally like four or five friends which I'm really grateful for. Yeah. Actually, एक भी अगर friend हो वो ही बहुत है. Yes. अगर मतलब and you to have your family, you have your child yes. and whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's yes. okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's not. No, it's not perfect. necessary. It's, and it's not weird then. <laughs> and also, like your true friends are those who you can get along with uh, without actually drinking, without any intoxicants, right? Hard to find. Uh, Hard to find these days, but I found. Yeah. Great. So, couple of no, people. No, I have, I have, couple I have, my, I have my real friends, and yeah, I'm very awesome. happy with them. Awesome. Yeah. So, it is possible we can crack it. Uh, this, uh, you know, uh, very uh, a lifestyle where we can kind of, you know, be happy. Not and if you want and, you know, to, and yeah. you know, some people can. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just talking about me, right? Yeah. I'm not saying like I'm a Sati Savitri or you are doing uh-huh. the right thing. There are so many people who party like crazy, who go for work the next morning. They mm-hmm. are built differently. Yes. If you're yes. built like that, and that is your life, good for you. I say yeah. do whatever makes you happy, but yes. genuinely happy. It like, doesn't work for me, so I. You know? Like yeah, it. exactly. If it makes you <laughs> genuinely happy, good for you. But look. Yes. I'm very delicate depends. like that. Yeah. Like by nine thirty, so I'm like if I start, <laughs> I tell my friends if I call you at five thirty in the morning to have breakfast with you, you won't have, na? So then nine thirty yes. for me is like yes. that only. Oh, breakfast, breakfast are another uh, podcast. Which also, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I've invited a friend over for breakfast. Oh, okay. They were like not happening. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. Yeah, yeah. Great. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Vasudha. It it has been uh, amazing talking to you because. Uh, you know a lot of learning although i knew that this will happen hmm. because you have so much in the book and elsewhere glow is also there uh, but uh, amazing talking to you i hope that you know people take away uh, like me i have taken away a lot uh, from this conversation that to be very comfortable in one's own skin uh, whatever is comfortable for you adopt it uh, and learn along the way Keep improving. I suppose it's as simple as that. Or and not. Or not. Or not. Everybody's life have, is yes. different. <laughs> or not. Who am I to say? Maybe, like I said, God will will tell me what you just wasted your life. Yes. You know, go back, <laughs> drink like a fish, and then yes. come up. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's cool about Vasudha <laughs> and her book. So she is not hoping anything on anyone. So do read the book. It's available everywhere on Amazon and of course in bookstores as well. Yeah. Uh, and just check it out and let her know online. And yeah, um, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you, thank you so much for having time. me. And hopefully for the next book as well, we'll be here or yes. somewhere else. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, but we would love to have you again. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you yeah. for having me. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Vasudha, for being on the podcast and thank little something. Thank you so much. This yeah. is lovely. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And uh, do find a place for this. Of and, course, um, of course. Yeah.